bunch of little baby green terrors. Those are just the ones we could catch, but over here, here's all the ones that are still in there. All these babies. So I uh, sectioned off the tank, kind of tried to block this side off to help her protect her babies. And that way, hopefully they can get big enough for me to more easily get them out of the tank and I'll just keep moving them over as I can. Those are the green terror babies. And then, yeah, and then we got this incubator for the peacock babies. It just kind of mimics the movement of a mama because these um, peacocks are mouth brooders and so they'll carry their babies around in their mouth but um, if I would have let her hold them in her mouth until she couldn't anymore then they would have just gone eaten too and been much harder to get out so I helped her by moving her into a tank and she spit them all out and um, then we put them in this little incubator so Without the incubator, they won't survive. They have, they can't really swim yet. As you can see, they kind of still look like, they still look like little fish eggs, but fish eggs with a fin and eyes <laughs> that can kind of just like <laughs> hop around. <laughs> They're weird little things. Mom, but yeah, over like the next little while, they'll race, get bigger. Mom. Looks like they're getting set up for doing. a race. <laughs> <laughs> Show them Lucky. Tell them to spray Lucky. Well, we already showed them Lucky. I had to put Lucky in a different tank because this is the one fish that survived from a um, batch of fish that we didn't even know were happening. If you saw my video a little while ago. But he is so big that he can eat the babies. Ray. But so small that he'll get eaten by these guys if I put him in the big tank. So yeah, if you get a really big community tank, this is what you have to look forward to. <laughs> Baby fish friendly that we are just too nice to let be food. Cute old thing. <laughs> Anyway, have a good night.